All right, I got another Photoshop tutorial for you today, and I'm working in Photoshop CS6, and I came across the cover art for Daft Punk's single Get Lucky, which just came out last week. And I really got a kick out of this cover. It's got that minimal look, late 60s, early 70s, and I thought, let's see if we can mimic it and see if we can kind of do our own thing with it. So let's have some fun and see what we can do. I'm going to go ahead and size this down so we can keep it on the screen for reference just to visually have it to look at and make sure that we're getting close. And the first thing we want to do is open a new document. So file, new. And I'm going to, I'm going to create a square document that is 1200 pixels wide by 1200 pixels tall. And it has a screen resolution, so 72 pixels per inch or DPI dots per inch as it used to be, though I don't think it's dot per inch per any, anymore. <laughs> but that's a whole other story. So let's click OK. And let's move this over so we can see our working document and keep the visual, uh, the reference up as well. So let's go ahead and get our background going. And before I start getting into this, uh, feel free to pause this and rewind and just work at your own pace. There's no rush. This is just for fun and something to, uh, to uh, help practice with Photoshop and come up with something cool. And uh, also, you're going to need, before you jump into this, you're going to need a photo of a maybe person or thing that you want to turn into the silhouette, um, like the, the band here. So for me, I took a few pictures of myself beforehand, and uh, we'll see that later on. But um, you can get silhouettes from, uh, just take a picture of, of anybody with your phone, um, with a camera. You can go to sites like Shutterstock.com and grab some stock photography. Or if you're just practicing, um, really, just a picture of anybody that is kind of a straight-on angle, and you should be good to go. So, that aside, let's jump in and start putting some color on this canvas here. So let's go ahead and use our gradient tool, and we're going to do the background color first. And I took some swatches so we know our hex values. So the background hex value, and that's the hex values down here with the hashtag, that is going to be 68150E for the background, or for the foreground, sorry. And these hex values will be in the description below as well. So for the background color, that hex value is going to be 8A2B1A. Ta-da! All right. Now with your gradient tool selected and du double check that it's on linear, go ahead and hold shift and drag from the top to bottom to set our kind of burnt orange color. All right, so we got that going. Let's go ahead and create a new layer and use your elliptical marquee tool and we're going to drag out the sun so if that sounds weird uh, in the on the cover art you can see it's not really a, a perfect circle it's more of an oval shape so if you want to get close you can just kind of mimic that and it's almost dead center it seems to be a little bit more towards the bottom so i'm just going to kind of cursor this down and i think that's about good so we're going to fill this as well with a gradient so select your gradient tool, and again, make sure it's set to linear gradient. And let's go ahead and set our foreground color. So the hex value for the foreground color, which is this bright orange, is F27B09. And as it fades downwards, it turns into more of a red orange. So for the background color, that more red orange is f 13 e one one now with holding shift again and you should have your gradient tool selected on a new layer go ahead and drag downwards to get our sun shape in there all right go ahead and leave the selection on now i'm going to show you a technique that i found from a guy named dan eden on how to roughen the edges of this real easy with some built-in settings in photoshop and we'll get going to kind of mimic this far off hazy looking effect that is going around the sun here and the link to the the technique i found from him is also in the description below so if you want to jump over to that you can um, but i'll show you how to do it here so we're going to use this quick mask tool and the quick mask tool is down here underneath your foreground and background colors on the the tools palette so go ahead and click that on it's also a shift holding shift and pressing the letter q will turn it on now we're going to go ahead and use our filter and we're going to go to pixelate crystallize 
and in the preview screen we're just gonna see a black and white uh, alpha mask so let's go ahead and drag so we can see kind of one of the curves of the Sun here and we want to bump the cell size up as you can see it's pretty rigid in the original document so let's find a good amount here maybe 9 or 10 we'll start with that and click OK now you can kinda of see it roughened up the edge and it doesn't look right now but but this next step will uh, will start to make that Sun look correct so go ahead and go to image adjust invert or control I or command I on a Mac and that just flipped our mask so now we want to turn the mask off by clicking the quick mask button again or pressing shift Q now we have a selection of that mask go ahead and press delete press control D or you can go to select deselect and there we go we roughened up the outside of the Sun here which is starting to mimic this this is a little more here so you might want to turn the crystallize effect up uh, but I think we're getting kind of close so now we want to blur the edges just a little bit so let's go to filter blur Gaussian blur we want to do just a little bit so the Sun is gonna blur a little bit more than the, the the people or the silhouette so let's go to maybe three pixels for the radius press OK now you see this kind of red highlight going around let's mimic something like that so let's go ahead and give this an inner glow under layer effects so inner glow and we want to set the blend mode to overlay okay opacity can stay 75 percent noise uh, zero for now the color let's go ahead and change the color to a red orange so that's going to be ff2400 zero, zero. and there we go and let's just turn the size up just a hair to about 16 maybe 18 pixels for this resolution there we go we got the Sun looking fairly close I think yep I think it looks pretty cool so this is just kind of a, a we're, we're just trying to mimic it you can get much more precise <laughs> but I'm gonna show you how to get started and kind of get close because you can see now I'm looking at it this red highlight seems to fade out um, it seems to match the bottom color of the Sun here and ours is, is set to overlay so it's gonna brighten that just a tad um, but let's just go ahead and leave that for now all right so let's go ahead and get our ground into place and just create a new layer and this one just kind of have fun with see how it's just kind of real rocky and blocky just kind of we're just gonna mimic something like that so first let's go ahead and set our color that we're gonna fill that with and that's gonna be 2 F 0 1 0 5 now the ground and the silhouettes are gonna be the same color so press OK now let's go ahead and select our uh, just our lasso tool and just kind of have fun just kind of draw in some ground here so I'm just gonna kind of do 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 you like those sound effects and come across just like so and for me I'm gonna press control delete to fill that with the background color and I think that looks kind of cool I might just add a little bit more maybe something like that until you get something you like there we go all right now let's get our silhouettes into place I went ahead and prepared um, some I took some photos of myself or I got my wife to take photos with me and I don't have a Daft Punk helmet but I do have a Minecraft mask that I got from my son so <laughs> we're gonna use this and I took a few different poses to uh, kind of figure this out so if you see the the photo here the angle is straight on it's not uh, or as best as you can so I my wife was able to, to step a few feet back from me and then it should be from a, a regular kind of straight on angle it shouldn't be from from looking down or looking up at at the person but uh, get as close as you can and uh, see what you can do so I took a few photos and worked this up and we're gonna use this for the band here so the technique to to isolating your photo is to use the pen tool and I have a whole tutorial on that it's uh, pretty easy once you get going or you can just use depending on what you want to use just use your selection tool and just start creating 
you know, paths around um, your subject. So with the pen tool, we've covered this in other tutorials and such. So you just want to kind of go around, you know, right click, make selection, and then you're going to copy and paste your selection into the document. So I'm going to go ahead and minimize this. And we're going to drag myself onto this image here. Now, the people are really pretty small in, in, in comparison here. So let's go ahead and I'm going to press Control T and size our silhouettes down a bit. And I'll make sure all their feet are planted. I'm going to hit OK. Now let's go to our layer effects tool. Let me minimize this a little bit. Let's go to our layer effects tool and give this a cover overlay. And we're going to use the same color as the ground. So again, that was 2F0105. Okay? It's not it's not a complete uh, dark black, but it's it's pretty close. It's a, a really, really dark red. So I'm going to click OK. Click OK again. Now I'm going to go ahead and holding uh, either shift or control, um, select both these layers. Okay, so you want to select your ground layer and your silhouette layer and just simply press control E. Okay, now let's go through that, that technique again with the mask tool. So let's go ahead and if you hold control and click on the thumbnail, you'll get a selection, right? Okay, so let's go ahead and go to our quick mask tool. So I'm just going to click this on or you can press shift Q. Let's go to filter, uh, pixelate, crystallize. And this time we don't want to crystallize it as, as heavy because look look how big that gets. So let's go closer to maybe four or three. Let's do four. I think that might work. So I'm going to click OK. That's going to pixelize the edges a little bit. Now go to Image, Adjust, Invert. Remember, we've got to flip that mask. Go ahead and turn the mask off. Okay. And press Delete. Control D or Select deselect and you can see we've roughened the edges so again this is a far off kind of um, uh, look we're trying to do so let's go ahead and give this a blur so filter blur gaussian blur but we don't want to blur this as much as we did the sun we want to just do a hair less so i'm going to set this to two pixels okay click ok now again, there is some inner glow, and in, in, in this case, there's also some outer glow that's that's happening here. So let's go ahead and with our layer effects, go to inner glow first. All right, now we're going to set this to overlay. We're going to set the color to get my list here. The color of the inner glow is going to be FF2400. And that's 75%, and let's turn the size up just a tad, maybe to four pixels. Now we're also going to give this an outer glow. Okay, that's also going to be set to overlay. Overlay, and the color in this case is going to be set to F13, F11. There we go and click OK. And if you ask me, that's pretty close. That looks pretty cool. Ours is a little bit a little bit cleaner, but uh, looks pretty cool. Now the last step is you can throw some text in <laughs> if you want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I found a font called Street Brush. It's a paid font, um, but if you just do a general search for 1980s fonts or 80s fonts, you can kind of get that style. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to punch in a nice, uh, let's see, a nice Minecraft phrase, buckets of lava. That seems to work. Control T, let's transform this. Let's kind of scale it up to match. And there you go. We have our, our own Daft Punkish cover. <laughs> There's a lot of different effects you can do to this. You can keep... Uh, uh, doing some cleanup, add some noise uh, for the text. You, you might want to give it a drop shadow. That'd be kind of cool just to have it stand away from the background a little bit. But essentially, this is it. 
and it's uh it's kind of cool we have our our daft punk inspired minecraft record cover if that makes any sense so <laughs> i hope you enjoyed this tutorial again there's links below for um, any of the steps that um, that you might need some more uh, detail on especially like the pen tool and stuff like that and have fun with it enjoy and all right i will catch you later